Kaodaism Vietnamese, Dao Sao Dai, Chu Nam, Dao Gao Tai is a monotheistic syncretic religion officially established in the city of Tay Ninh in southern Vietnam in 1926. The full name of the religion is Dai Dao Tam Kentucky Phu Du the Great Faith for the Third Universal Redemption, Sao Dai Vietnamese, Kwa Circumflex J listen, literally the Highest Lord or Highest Power is the supreme deity, believed by Kaodaists to have created the universe. Kaodaists often use the term Duk Sao Dai Venerable High Lord as the abbreviated name, whose full title is Sao Dai Tien Ong Dai Bo Tat Ma Ha Tat The Highest Power the Ancient Immortal and Great Bodhisattva. The symbol of the faith is the left eye of God, representing the yang masculine, ordaining, positive and expansive activity of the male creator, which is balanced by the yin m activity of Mother Goddess, the Queen Mother of the West du tri kim mao, te vong mao, the feminine, nurturing and restorative mother of humanity. Adherents engage in practices such as prayer, veneration of ancestors, nonviolence, and vegetarianism with the goal of union with God and freedom from samsara. Estimates of the number of Kaodaists in Vietnam vary. Government figures estimate 4.4 million Kaodaists affiliated to the Tay Ninh Church, with numbers rising up to 6 million if other branches are added. An additional number of adherents in the tens of thousands, primarily ethnic Vietnamese, live in North America, Europe, and Australia. The design, shape and coloring of Kaodaist temples is quite standard around the world and includes the incorporation of sacred images, symbols, and colors. History Go Van Chu, a district head of the French administration in Cochinchina, was the first to worship and receive messages from Sao Dai in 1921. He received a vision of the Divine Eye which is now the symbol for Sao Dai as well as the focus for worship on all Sao Dai altars. Adherents maintain that on Christmas Eve 1925, God identified himself to the first group of Sao Dai mediums, which included Pham Kong Tak, Sao Queen Ku, and Sao Ho I Sang. These three figures were to play an essential role in the growing religion as the three founding spirit mediums of the Heap Thien Dai or Palace Uniting Heaven and Earth. Pham Kong Tak was the head spirit medium or Ho Fap, defender of the Dharma, while Sao Queen Ku was the Thuong Pham, his sacred assistant, and Sao Ho I Sang was the Thuong San, his secular assistant. On the 7th of October 1926, Le Van Trung, a former elected official of the Colonial Council of Cochinchina and a member of the Conseil de Gouvernement de l'Indochine, and a leading group of 27 Kaodaists, the first disciples of Sao Dai, signed the Declaration of the Founding of the Sao Dai Religion and presented it to the French governor of Cochinchina. The Sao Dai faith brought together a number of once underground sects into a new national religion. Officially called the Great Way of the Third Time of Redemption, Dai Dao Tam Kentucky Phu Du, it became popular in its first few decades, gathering over a million members and converting a fifth to a fourth of the population of Cochinchina by 1940. In the 1930s, the leader criticized the French colonial regime, though he also emphasized dialogue with the French. This stance was controversial, and contrasted with the liturgy of dozens of dissident. Branches of Kaodaism that followed a more Taoist model. During the First and Second Indochina Wars, members of Sao Dai, along with several other Vietnamese sects, such as Hoa Hao, were active in political and military struggles against both French colonial forces and South Vietnamese Prime Minister Go Dinh Diem. Their critique of the communist forces until 1975 was a factor in their repression after the fall of Saigon in 1975, when the incoming communist government banned the practice of Kaodaism. In 1997, Kaodaism was granted legal recognition and unrestricted practice once again. Topic: <inaudible> <inaudible> Religious Mission. The official name of the Sao Dai religion or Kaodaism is Dai Dao Tam Kentucky Phu Du. Translated directly, it means the Third Great Universal Religious Amnesty, Dai Dao, Great Faith, Tam Kentucky, Third Period, Phu to announce, and do, to save. According to Saudé's dogma, this third period will be of intense religious activity which will unite God and humanity in ways not yet imagined. Saudé also states that the third amnesty will establish a new great faith for the salvation of living beings before the universal destruction. 
The primary objective of the Third Amnesty is the unity of all religions, which will bring mankind together in a universal family for universal peace. Caudaism teaches that, throughout human history, God the Father has revealed his truth many times through the mouths of many prophets, but these messages were always either ignored or forgotten due to humanity's susceptibility to secular desires. Adherents believe that the age has now come when God speaks to humanity directly. In the 19th century, Spiritism became established in Europe. The likes of Madame Blavatsky, Alan Kardec and Victor Hugo championed new religious possibilities. In Vietnam, the age-old traditions of Asian divination and mediumship began to mix with the new traditions of European spiritism. To highlight this objective of unity, there is a representation of the Divine Covenant of the Third Amnesty the Third Alliance inside every Sao Dai temple. This covenant between heaven and earth is written and presented to humanity by the venerable saints, Victor Hugo, Sun Yat-sen and Trang Trinh Nguyen Binh Kim. Their mission is said to guide humanity into the way of the Third Amnesty. The covenant is written in French, Du et humanité amour et justice, and in Chinese, Tian Shang Tian Sha Bo I Gong This translates into English as God and humanity for love and justice. Theology and Theosophy Topic God Sao Dai refers to God the Father, the supreme being, the creator, the ultimate reality of the universe. Sao Dai Tian Ong Dai Bo Tat Ma Ha Tat, as God's full title, indicates a combination of the three main religions, Confucianism, Taoism, and Chinese Buddhism. Sao Dai literally means high tower, palace, that is, the place where God reigns over the universe. These words represent Confucianism. Tian Ong is the largest rank in Taoism. Dai Bo Tat Ma Ha Tat literally means Great Bodhisattva the Great Being Mahasattva in Buddhism. Together, they represent not only the unification of the three main religions but also the humility of God who presents himself as the lowest rank of divinity. Topic. Cosmology Kaodaists adopt the traditional Chinese idea of am yin and duang yang duality constituting the harmonious balance of the universe. Before the creation of the universe there was the Tao, the infinite, nameless, formless, unchanging, eternal source. The negative and positive principles of the universe are the components of the eternal nature. There are two main gods, the Sao Dai, highest lord and the Du Tri Kim Mao or Duk Fat Mao Holy Mother. They represent respectively the Yang and Yin forces. Sao Dai is viewed as the heart of the universe, the common father of all beings. He imparts part of him into each living being, including even rocks, in the form of conscience. Duk Fat Mao is venerated as the mother of the universe, responsible for giving visible forms, consciousness and emotions to all life. Ultimately, she has to follow the orders of Duk Sao Dai who is revered as the supreme being of both heaven and earth. All other divine beings are to obey the orders of these two creators during the course of evolution of the universe. Each of them carries a specific role as designated by their father and mother. Any being who falls out against them is considered devils in nature. These devils are led by the most powerful being, named Kim Kwang Su Satan. .In terms of the cosmos, faithful Kaodaists believe there are heaven and hell, which are the main destinations for souls after death. Heaven consists of 36 planes and many heavenly realms upon each of them, e.g. the realm of saints, the realm of the Holy Mother, the realm of the perfect beings, the divine court realm, the paradise of extreme joy, nirvana, etc. Meanwhile, hell has ten key realms to carry out punishments in accordance with sins of souls. In order to go to heaven, souls are required to cultivate their virtues and or devote themselves to spiritual causes. Without merit from the latter, they cannot escape the cycle of birth and death, but can improve their virtues and merit gradually to reach better places in the universe, including the 72 planets ours is the 68th, the 3,000 worlds, the four great cosmic regions, and the 36 heavenly planes. True liberation can only be attained when souls reach nirvana, i.e. the realm of divine beings with the most virtues, merits, and wisdom. Topic. Threefold revelation. The father of the universe, Sao Dai, is believed to have communed with men since the beginning of times, revealing his will. 
According to Sao Dai doctrine, history is divided into three times Tam Kentucky of revelation. In the first two periods, there were teachings of Dipankara Buddha, sages, Phuc Hai, Gautama Buddha, Laozi, Confucius and Jesus, who received the will of the highest power, and founded their respective religions to serve and, or educate humanity. But due to the frailty of the messengers and the common men, the will of the highest power was misled into corrupted forms. Kaodaists also believe that former revelations were culture-bound, being applicable only for certain ethnicities, and primarily intended for specific ages. The third and final form of revelation is disclosed through the teachings of the Sao Dai faith. Twelve-fold hierarchy Kaodaists believe that there are various ranks of divine spirits, then angels, tan, saints, tian, immortals, and fat, buddhas. Each of these ranks can be further divided in the three grades of thin heavenly, non-human, and dia earthly, forming a twelve-fold hierarchy that reflects the twelve-fold earthly hierarchy of the Kaodaist church. Below those ranks are the spirits of matters, plants, animals and humans. All spirits may evolve to attain higher rank based on present deeds. Disembodied spirits fulfill a number of roles, they are benefactors of mankind, messengers and instructors of the truth. Quan Am is regarded as the exemplary goddess of the Buddhas, Li Bak of the Immortals, and Quan Vu of the Saints. Unknown to most outsiders, Joan of Arc is worshipped in the Sao Dai Pantheon. She is seen as having guided the faith at its inception and promoted full equality for women via seances. The Sao Dai Pantheon also has many other well-known figures, including Muhammad, Moses, Louis Pasteur, Shakespeare, and Lenin. Victor Hugo is probably the most important European figure to play a role in the Kaodai Pantheon, since he gave many teachings and also the text of a number of important prayers. He himself practiced spiritism on the island of Jersey from 1852 to 1855, and predicted that he would become the prophet of a new religion to merge European and Asian mysticism. Reports that Winston Churchill and Charlie Chaplin were also saints are based on an inaccurate 1956 Time magazine article, since both of them were still alive at the time. Topic. Fundamental rules and values The doctrines of the Sao Dai faith tends not only to reconcile all religious views, but also to adapt itself to all degrees of spiritual evolution. A basic principle of Kaodaism is, all religions are one. Sao Dai has been described from five different points of view. From a moral point of view, Sao Dai religion reminds people of their duties towards themselves, their family, their society, a broader family, then toward humanity, the universal family. From a philosophical point of view, Sao Dai religion preaches renunciation of honors, riches and luxury, in other words, deliverance from servitude to materialism in the attainment of full spiritual quietude of soul. From the point of view of worship, Sao Dai religion prescribes the adoration of God, the veneration of divine beings and the worship of ancestors. From a spiritual point of view, Sao Dai religion confirms, in harmony with other religions, the existence of the spirits and the soul, their survival beyond the physical body, and their evolution by successive reincarnations, according to the karmic law. From the initiate's point of view, Sao Dai religion communicates to worthy adherents and reveals teachings that enable them, by a process of spiritual evolution, to reach the ecstasies of happiness. Topic. Worship rituals Believers worship God the Father, Holy Mother and the Divine Beings with all their heart. They also venerate the great religious prophets of history and honor the ancestors. There are four daily ceremonies, that is, at 6 o'clock, midday, 1800 and midnight, either at the temple or in front of the home altar. Monthly rituals take place on midnight of the first and fifteenth days of the lunar month. There is also a special anniversary ceremony once a year for God the Father, the Holy Mother, the five founders of the world's major religions, and the founders of the Sao Dai religion. The rituals differ between places, depending on who they pray to. At the Holy See, prayers include incense offering, ceremony opening, prayer to the Jade Emperor God the Father, prayer to Dipankara Buddha Buddhism, prayer to Tai Thuong Lao Quan or Taishang Lao Jun Taoism, prayer to Confucius Confucianism, one of the three jewel offering prayers flour, wine, and tea, and the five pledges. 
At the Holy Mother Temple, prayers include incense offering, ceremony opening, prayer describing the role of the Holy Mother, prayer to express gratitude to the Holy Mother, one the three jewel offering prayers flower, wine, and tea, and the five pledges. There are also differences between monthly rituals, and anniversary ones. Ceremonial prescriptions such as actions, dress and music were organized in detail by God the Father. These include ceremonies for initiations, marriages and funerals. Particular attention is paid to death, and it has been revealed to the religion how the soul journeys towards heaven and how, on earth, co-religionists can pray for souls to help them on their way. <laughs> Symbols Sao Dai temples and religious buildings host a rich array of symbols, all of which are instructed by either God the Father or divine beings. No symbol is redundant, and none is meaningless. They each tell a different story that reveals the beliefs, values, cosmic secrets, prophecies, etc. When combined, they lay out the journey of the Tao throughout the history of mankind and the universe, as well as its way forward. The Divine Eye In spirit and in pictorial representation, the eye serves to remind Sao Dai believers that the God witnesses everything, everywhere, constantly. At the Holy See, there are in total fifty divine eyes of five different shapes, each carrying a different meaning related to various spiritual aspects. The one on the globe shows the Supreme Being above the North Star in the Ursa Minor constellation. The one on the facade of the Holy See has 35 rays of light which represent the three major religions and five main religious doctrines of the world. At the local Sao Dai temples, the Divine Eye has 16 rays of light emanating from it. Nine radiate upward representing the nine levels of heaven, and seven radiating downward representing the seven emotions, which believers must control. The religious banner and emblem In accordance with the religious mission, the three colors of Sao Dai banner represent the three main religions of the world, yellow stands for Buddhism, blue for Taoism, and red for Confucianism. Under the divine eye is the religious emblem which also represents the essence of the three religions, the bowl of charity for Buddhist compassion and asceticism, the feather duster for Taoist purification, the spring and autumn annals for Confucianist virtue and love. <laughs> Holy Scriptures. There are various Kaodaist scriptures. Some of those belonging to the Holy See of Tay Ninh are, Kin Thien Dao Va The Dao, Prayers of the Heavenly and the Earthly Way, Phap Chan Trian, The Religious Constitution of Sao Dai Religion, Tan Luet, The Canonical Codes, and Khan Duong Thing Liang Hang Song, Divine Path to Eternal Life. Other sects have additional scriptures. The canonical codes This scripture sets out the rules and boundaries for different aspects of the religion, from a believer to the pope, from education to marriage, etc. There are ten sections in the scripture with the following content Hierarchy of religious dignitaries Initiation and ranks of believers Establishment of a parish The five interdictions The four commandments Education Sanctions Promulgation of laws and regulations Secular rules The House of Meditation The Religious Constitution The Phap Chan Truyan the religious constitution of Kaudaism, was delivered to the religion as a series of divine messages. These are the guiding texts of the religion's organization, stipulating the authority, responsibility, limits, as well as religious vestment for each rank in the religion. Organizational structure The organizational structure of the Kaudaist Church has similarities with that of a state. There are similarities between the hierarchy of the Kaudaist clergy and that of the Catholic Church. Besides the Pope, the Kaudaist hierarchy has cardinals, bishops, priests, and further ranks. Kaudaism stresses equality among men and women in society. However, in the spiritual domain, ordained women may not attain the two highest positions, the legislative cardinal and the Pope. 
The Church claims this is ordered by the Highest Lord, who declared that because Duang yang represents male and Am yin corresponds to female, Yin cannot dominate Yang spiritually or else chaos ensues. The religion is governed by two powers, the spiritual and earthly ones. The spiritual power bat ki dai, this is the heavenly council, that is, the spirit and soul of the new religion. The council directs all activities of the universe. The council is the invisible part, made up of the divine beings, and directed by Duk Sao Dai God the, Father. the divine beings represent different religions of the world, including Founders of five religions, Shakyamuni Buddhism, Lao Zi Taoism, Confucius Confucianism, Jesus Christ Christianity, Zhang Zia Jainism. Founders and teachers of Kaudaism, who represent the doctrines of Buddhism, Taoism and Confucianism, Guanyin Buddhism, Li Bai Taoism, Guan Yu Confucianism, the earthly power, to avoid dictatorship, God divided the earthly power into two bodies, an executive body Ku Trung Dai headed by the Pope, and a legislative body He Thien Dai headed by the Ho Fap, protector of laws and justice. The former takes charge of the administration of the religion and its missionary activities, while the latter oversees legislation, jurisdiction and communication with God or divine beings. There is also the charitable body placed under the supervision of the legislative body, and a lay committee of selected professional specialists among worthy followers. The executive body The Ku Trung I is the executive body of Kaudaism which takes charge of the administration of the religion and missionary activities. Head of Ku Trung I is Gao Tong Pope. The Gao Tong Pope represents God to watch over the preservation of his religion in this world. Whatever his age, he is eldest brother and acts as a guide for the children of God. The spiritual power has decided that this is so. The Gao Tong Pope has the same powers as God to teach virtue to all his disciples. He is concerned with each one of them, he guides each one and takes care to ensure that each one does not transgress the divine laws He obliges all disciples of God to conform strictly to the prescriptions of the new codes Since the Gao Tong Pope has full powers to replace God he must try to transform the life of suffering into an existence marked by happiness. This is the exalted task of the Gao Tong Pope. There are nine ranks in its hierarchy. One Pope Three Censor Cardinals Three Cardinals Thirty-six Archbishops Seventy-two Bishops Three Thousand Priests Student Priest no limit. Subdignitaries no limit. Followers no limit for male dignitaries of the executive body, from the rank of Censor Cardinal to that of Student Priest, each echelon is subdivided into three branches corresponding to the three principal religions. Buddhist branch, these dignitaries are dressed in yellow. Taoist branch, these dignitaries are dressed in azure. Confucianist branch, these dignitaries are dressed in red. Dignitaries of the same echelon, either Confucianist, Taoist or Buddhist, have the same attributes. At the Holy See, there are three governing councils. The Popular Council, composed of student priests, sub-dignitaries and representatives of adherents in the ratio of one delegate per 500 members. The Popular Council makes plans for the future. The Sacerdotal Council, composed of priests, bishops, archbishops and principal archbishops. The Sacerdotal Council examines the plans made by the Popular Council. The High Council, composed of cardinals, legislative body cardinals and the Pope, all plans made by the Popular Council and favored by the Sacerdotal Council are submitted to High Council for approval. In addition, there is also a central administration body chaired by three cardinals. Each of them is assisted by three principal archbishops to oversee three religious ministries. The principal archbishops of the Buddhist branch take care of finances, supply, and public works. The principal archbishops of the Taoist branch take care of education, health, and agriculture. The principal archbishops of the Confucianist branch take care of interior, rights, and justice. The administrative network which functions throughout Vietnam consists of the religious region Tran Dao, comprising several provinces, headed by a bishop who is called the regional religious chief, Kham Tran Dao. The religious province Chao Dao, comprising several districts, delegations, headed by a priest who is called provincial religious chief, Kham Chao Dao. 
The religious district Hodau, comprising several villages, headed by a student priest who is called the religious chief of delegation Do Tok Dao, Do Ho Dao, Do Fan Dao. The religious village Hong Dao, headed by a sub-dignitary who is called village religious chief Do Hong Dao. He is assisted by one or more Fu Tri Su, deputy chief for administration of a religious village, representing the executive body, and one or more Thong Su, representing the legislative body. The religious village is made up of religious hamlets Ap Dao. Topic: The legislative body Heap Thien Dai. This body has the duty of communicating with divine beings, to preserve the religious laws and listen to the complaints of the unhappy. It is headed by the Ho Fap, protector of laws and justice, and assisted by the Thuang Pham, director of religious affairs, and Thuang San, director of secular affairs. Ho Fap, Hu Fa, the head of legislative body affairs, is the one who unveils the mystery of the invisible and is the maintainer of the rules and laws of the new religion. He is the one who pronounces judgments on the dignitaries and adepts, elevates the dignity of the fervent through their merit and brings sanctions against those who have committed faults. The Ho Fap holds control over the legislative body power both exoterically and esoterically. He watches over the positive progress of the disciples in the way of God, and guides all evolved souls to Bat Ki Dai for the union with angels, saints, immortals and Buddhas. Thuang Pham Shang Pin, the head of religious affairs, is the representative of the Ho Phap in the formation of virtuous souls of the sacerdotal council. He depends on the Ho Fap in all his missions. In a word, the Thuang Pham helps the Ku Trung Dai to live in an atmosphere of happiness, he reveals the heavenly voice to virtuous souls, and guides them to the divine phase of the great spirits, while closing behind them the door of regression. He considers the priestly laws to take up the defense of all office bearers and adepts, he prevents all perversion of the divine rules, and helps all initiates to attain their aim. He is simultaneously the president of the Hall of Defense and protector of all disciples. The Thuang Pham is leader of the spiritual power. Thuang San Shang Shang, the head of secular affairs, has control of all the laws and rules which relate to the worldly life of all adepts to guide them out of the sea of sufferings. He may present a formal complaint before the religious tribunal against all those who impede the faithful as they move along the way of God. He is the president of the Hall of Accusation, for zodiacal dignitaries. Under each of these branches carry the four key responsibilities of conservation, renovation, reformation, and legislation. They are further assisted by twelve technical academicians, including Bao Huyan Lin Quan Theosophy, Bao Tin Quan Astronomy, Bao Ko Quan Orphanage, Bao Van Fap Quan Culture, Bao Hak Quan Education, Bao Y Quan Health, Bao Vat Quan Science and Industry, Bao Si Quan Literature, Bao San Quan Social Work, Bao Nong Quan Agriculture, Bao Kong Quan Public Works, Bao Thuang Quan Economics. Topic. Community structure Any local area having more than 500 believers is authorized to establish a parish with a ton that temple, church, holy house which is led by the authority of a dignitary. Parish – Parishes can be established only with the permission and authority of the Gao Tong – Pope. Twice a month, the first and the fifteenth day of the lunar calendar, the believers must meet at the Tan That temple, holy house of the local area to attend the ceremony and listen to the teachings. Exception can be made for those with reasonable excuses. Topic. The Holy See 90 km northwest of Saigon in Tay Ninh Province is the Khao Daoist Holy See. At the center of this city stands the Great Divine Temple. This temple, like the religion, is a fusion of world influences. As well as being a major center of pilgrimage, the Khao Daoist Holy See is also one of Vietnam's major tourist attractions. Branches <inaudible> 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 In total, there are six different officially recognized branches of the Khao Daoist religion in southern Vietnam, as well as several others that remain unrecognized. These sects generally divide along geographic lines. The largest is based in Tay Ninh Province, where the religion was founded in 1926 and where the seat of the Khao Daoist authority is located. 
The Kaodaist Executive Council of Tay Ninh Province received official government recognition in 1997. Independent Kaodaist groups allege that government interference has undermined the independence of the Tay Ninh group, and it no longer faithfully upholds Sao Day's principles and traditions. Religious training takes place at individual temples rather than at centralized seminaries. Some Kaodaist sects that have broken away from the Tay Ninh Holy See are Chu Min, Ben Tre, and Da Nang. Go Van Chu founded Chu Min when he left the original church structure, refusing his appointment as Kaodaism's first pope. Topic. See also Wa Hao Slave Ship, a science fiction novel which involves Sao Dai and its Pope. Taoism Trin Min The Shantiandao Yiguandao Topic References Topic Sources Biederman, Patricia Ward the 7th of January 2006, Sao Dai Fuses Great Faiths of the World, Los Angeles Times, Retrieved 7 December 2014 Eller, Jack David 2014, Introducing Anthropology of Religion, Culture to the Ultimate, Routledge, ISBN 9781317575 1144 Hoskins a. Janet Allison 2012, What are Vietnam's Indigenous Religions? PDF, Center for Southeast Asian Studies, Kyoto University Hoskins B. Janet Allison 2012, God's Chosen People, Race, Religion and Anti-Colonial Struggle in French Indochina, Asia Research Institute of the National University of Singapore Hoskins, Janet Allison 2015, The Divine Eye and the Diaspora, Vietnamese Syncretism Becomes Transpacific Kaodaism, Honolulu, University of Hawaii Press, ISBN 978-0-824-85140-8 Ho Phap Pham Kong Tak, Divine Path to Eternal Life, Sydney Center for Studies in Kaodaism, retrieved 18 July 2015 Press Statement on the Visit to the Socialist Republic of Vietnam by the Special Rapporteur on Freedom of Religion or Belief, Office of the United Nations High Commissioner for Human Rights, Hanoi, Vietnam, 31 July 2014, retrieved 17 July 2015 Oliver, Victor L. 1976, Kaodai Spiritism, A Study of Religion in Vietnamese Society, Brill, ISBN 9789004045475 Sao Dai Rituals, Sydney Center for Studies in Kaodaism C, retrieved July 18, 2015 Kaodaism in a Nutshell, Sydney Center for Studies in Kaodaism A, retrieved 17 July 2015 Kin Thien Dao and the Dao, Sydney Center for Studies in Kaodaism D, in Vietnamese, retrieved 18 July 2015 Structure of Kaodai Religion, Sydney Center for Studies in Kaodaism, retrieved 18 July 2015 The New Canonical Codes, Sydney Center for Studies in Kaodaism, retrieved July 17, 2015 The Outline of Kaodaism, Sydney Center for Studies in Kaodaism B, retrieved July 17, 2015 Tam, Dao Kong the 8th of November 1996, The Religious Constitution of Sao Dai Religion, Sydney Center for Studies in Kaodaism, University of Sydney, retrieved 18 July 2015 Tam, Dao 2000, Understanding Kaodaism in 10 Minutes, University of Sydney, archived from the original on 21 September 2009 Vietnam Timeline 1955, Vietnamgear.com, retrieved 18 July 2015 Kaodaism Encyclopedia Entry by Janet Allison Hoskins at World Religion and Spirituality Website https colon slash slash reldrills.org slash 2017 slash 08 slash 10 slash Kaudaism slash accessed the 10th of August 2017 topic further reading blog of Sergey 2012 Kaudaism Vietnamese traditionalism and its leap into modernity Nova Science Publishers ISBN 1 billion five hundred ninety million three hundred thirty one thousand five hundred eight Gusert Vincent Palmer David a 2011 the religious question in modern China University of Chicago Press ISBN 0226005333 X Jamis, Jeremy 2010. Divination and Politics in Southern Vietnam, Roots of Kaodaism. Social Compass 57 3, 357-371. Doi 10.1177/00377686103755520 Jamis, Jeremy 2014 Less Oracles du Sao Dai Etude d'une Movement Religio Vietnamien et de SES Réseau Paris Les Indies Savantes 
ISBN 978-2-84654-351-4 Werner, Jane Peasant Politics and Religious Sectarianism, Peasant and Priest in the Sao Dai in Vietnam. New Haven, Yale University Southeast Asian Studies. ISBN 978-0-938692-07-2 External links Sao Dai Library in Sydney multilingual. Sao Dai Library in English Sao Dai ebooks in PDF, Kindle, Nook formats Kaudaism main website Kaudaist Overseas Missionary Hoi Van Hoa Sao Dai, Kaudaist Cultural Association, Australia Kaudaist French Resources Sacerdotal Council of Kaudaism <laughs>